Guys, what's up? So today we're going to be playing some Thrive Island. And this is going to be like the first episode of a mini-series I'm going to do, like a mini-let's play for Thrive Island. So let's get started. So Thrive Island, it's got like a million downloads on the free version on the Google Play Store. And the paid version has like 5,000 downloads. So, a million downloads to 5,000 downloads. So, that's kind of why I'm playing the free version. Because, I mean, you can guess, like, if the free version has a million downloads and the paid only has 5,000, the paid isn't really worth it, I guess, in my opinion. So, I have played a little bit, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but not 100%. So, we can go over, like, these stacks of wood. And you hit this question mark thing by your, where your fight button used to be. Yeah, this is, you know, fight button, jump button, kick. Yeah. And we have our hot bar down here. And we can go over here and collect stone. So I don't, I think it's just one island. Like, it's not randomly generated, like, every time. So, yeah. So it's still in like early stages, but it's coming it's come a long way since I've played it last actually. I played for a while and then I kinda got to a point where there was nothing left to do. Okay, we're gonna avoid that. And just kinda uninstalled it. But I saw it had an update and decided I'd reinstall it. So is that like blood all over our character or something I, I don't know so yeah if we go over here to our backpack we can craft like a stone hammer or like a stone hatchet with some of the stuff I think we're gonna make a hatchet because that's like the only kind of weapon I think like, there's not actual weapons but I think the hatchet probably does more so if we select stone hatchet and we hit craft one of them, then it's going to take uh, 10 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. <laughs> Alright, well also, let's take a pickaxe. Do we have, we don't have enough for a pickaxe, do we? No, um, we can get more though. So, with the hatchet, we are able to chop We can chop down um, trees with the hatchet. I don't think you can chop down all trees, but you can chop down some. See, as we have the little tool there. I think it takes forever. Not forever, but... Like, you get wood every time you hit it, but to, like, get it to actually, like, go away, it takes a while. So this is probably the best way, in my opinion, to get wood. then see the trio disappear. But one of the things with this game that I'm not a huge fan of, I guess, is that the resources, like, respawn, like, very quickly. So, like, remember when we spawned just a few minutes ago or seconds ago? I don't know. Just a little bit ago, we spawned right over here, near here, and we picked up this stone while the stone's back, and we can pick it up again. So, I guess it kind of makes it a little easy, like it makes it pretty easy, in my opinion, to just be able to go whatever and, you know, just sit in one area, like over here there's some, a lot of stuff in this area, like there's wood down there and stone, like you could build a house right over there and then just every little bit just walk through and grab all this stuff, so... Just makes it a little bit easier than I would like, but I mean, what would you do if you got to a point where there were no resources left at all? So, right, stone pickaxe, um, that we can use it to like mine those rocks, that big tan rock there in the front, and 
then we should be able to get like iron ore from this as well as like rocks it's kind of like chopping down trees but for rocks maybe okay got two stone got nothing got nothing got nothing so maybe we'll get some iron from this one coal okay coal for torches stone coal stone stone coal stone can I have that little chat bar there to tell you what you got? And then eventually it'll disappear. Some of them you get iron from. Sometimes you get coal. It just it just varies. At least with these it's kind of random. Like okay. So I want to go because I've heard like I looked at the change log and it says there are caves and dungeons. Which sounds pretty good. Are like pretty cool. So the game is like as I was saying, it was in is still like in early stages, but it's got some pretty cool like game mechanics that I can't wait to see like um, updated and stuff. Like as you can see up here, we have our health, our hunger, our oxygen, our temperature, and our radiation. That's like a lot of things to watch. And oxygen is like if you go in the water. Temperature actually at actually at night. Um, if you don't build a campfire, which or craft a campfire and place it wrong button, used to those three dots for Minecraft. Um, let's see, it's over here with the campfire. Yeah. Um, if you don't craft a fire pit, it's it, like the fire pit. Um. It'll keep you warm, and um, basically if you're not close to it, then you're going to start getting cold, and when you get, when your, you know, temperature gets down to zero, then you die, so... Grab some more stone. Right, so I think that's a boar down there. And we probably could take them. But it would probably cost a lot of our health. I don't know. Let's try it. Come on. Fight me. Okay, back away. Come on, Let's see. Okay, this isn't going well. Come on. Oh, bother. <laughs> Okay, backing away, we're missing a lot, so let's just take them out. Come on. Got you. Yeah, that wasn't really worth the time and the health it took to kill him. So, we can also make a sleeping fur, but you have to kill a, several bears. Which are tougher than those boars. If you kill the bears, you they drop fur, and then you can make kind of. I guess it's just basically a bed. And then um, you can like skip the night. So yeah. Okay, we got two iron ore. Stone, stone, more stone, even more stone. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's 
So we can build a house, and it's got some pretty cool house building like mechanics. So you can build like a wooden foundation, wooden panel, which I think is kind of like what you'd use as a roof. Wooden wall, wooden low wall, I'm not sure what that is. Wooden door, wooden door wall, wooden window wall, wooden slopes. So kind of has like the rust kind of building style. So, find somewhere to build our house. Might be a good idea to build it by spawn, because if we die without sleeping, I don't even, I don't remember if sleeping sets your spawn point or not, though, so. Lags a little bit when I'm running a screen recorder. Like. Almost all games, I guess. So, stone, iron ore, stone, stone, more stone, two stone. Two stone. 